Welcome friends and family. This is the second edition of Join My Quarantine. And tonight, I got all dressed up for you. I even put cologne on. But before we get started on tonight's topic, I wanna to talk about something that's really important to us all, and that's why I'm doing these videos. And I also wanna thank the people who have reached out to me since I posted my first video, and probably just because they were doing the right thing and caring about their friends, family, and neighbors, um, to call and check and say hello, um, offered to bring things over, and um, just to keep in touch. I've heard from people that I talk to on a regular basis, and I've heard from people that um, I haven't heard from in a long time. And while none of us choose to be going through um, this terribly scary time um, in our lives, I always try to find something positive, and I think the positive I'm looking for finding right now um, is keeping in touch with the people I love and hearing from people that I haven't heard from in a long time. So I have a motto in life, you gotta look for the positive, um, be optimistic, and uh, that's why I wake up in the morning. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm gonna remember uh, that there's something good going on and it's us reaching out to each other. So do me a favor, um, Take the time tomorrow, call somebody you haven't talked to in a long time, check on your neighbor, um, and make sure they're doing okay. So this is day 13 of my solitary quarantine at home in my basement uh, with my wife Julie and daughter Samantha upstairs. I'm downstairs uh, quarantining myself because of my uh, unique health situation and being immune suppressed. So you might ask yourself, what is Tom doing to keep busy all by himself downstairs? Well, in addition to occasionally doing my shot of bourbon, and now that I'm all out of Molson Canadian, my second favorite beer, Pabst Blue Ribbon, I've been watching movies. So what I'm gonna do tonight, after I do my traditional shot and beer, like Grandpa Robinson used to always do, tell you about some of the movies I've been watching. So, Here's a call out to Aunt Birdie in Windsor, Ontario. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. All right, back to the movies. We all have plenty of time on our hands, and I'm sure we're finding ourselves watching a bunch of movies, flipping through the indexes of what's available, and wondering, what should I watch next? Well. No more worries, because I'm going to give you some recommendations. So the most recent film I've watched was a movie called Once Upon a Time in the Old West. And that was starring Tra Jason Robards, Charles Bronson, and Henry Fonda. And this is a long movie, folks. It's about two and a half, almost three hours. At first, it starts off a little bit slow. Well, to be honest with you, it's always a little bit slow. But it's very entertaining. It is truly an old spaghetti western, and it's from 1968. I found this movie uh, interesting. How's that sound? I couldn't stop watching it, but I was always waiting for some action. But it held me till the end. I recommended it to my parents. I'm not sure if they watched it yet, but I do recommend it to you. And it was kind of nostalgic to watch an old western like that with those old-time actors that we used to watch when we were kids or younger. Okay, movie number two. This one won't surprise you if you know me well, but I watched Superfly. That's right, Superfly. I love the 70s, and I love the style, I love the music, I love the car wash kind of stuff, and Superfly fit right into that genre. It's from 1972, starring Ron O'Neill, Carl Lee, and Sheila Frazier. You gotta love these movies from the early 70s that have the disco, the platform shoes, the cool hats, the uh, pimp sport coats, and the cool music and, and fast cars. And this is a movie about a drug dealer in New York um, who wants to get out of the business, one of those good bad guys kind of thing. And to get out, he's going to have his one last big drug sale that allows him to be able to support himself and get out of the business for the rest of his life and, and leave and lead what he would believe would be a normal life. Um, of course, that plan doesn't go well when he runs into some dirty cops trying to steal his money and become part of the drug ring themselves. 
but I won't explain the whole movie to you. Just know there's some cool cars in it, cool clothing, and some cool music in it. And again, I'm not sure if it's the memories of watching those old 70s, funky kind of cool disco shows from when I was a kid, or if it's the music, or growing up in the Detroit area where that was part of life back in the 70s, but I think you'll like Superfly. So for my final movie, um, check this one out. It was from the 80s, 1989 to be precise, starring um, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, and Red Fox in Harlem Nights. Uh, you gotta love the 80s movies too, right? Nothing but innocent fun, um, debauchery, drinking, um, guns and alcohol and all that other stuff that we enjoyed in the 80s that seemed pretty innocent at the time. Boy, were those crazy times, huh? The movies we thought were family movies back then are practically X-rated today. Bad News Bears for an example, but I'll talk about that later on. Back to Harlem Nights. Just a fun movie. Wouldn't recommend you watch it with your kids again, but if you want to go back to the 80s, enjoy those simple movies, um, I recommend you watch Harlem Nights. Eddie Murphy's really cool in it. It's a story about... Um, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, and Red Fox running a running a brothel, gambling hall, and speakeasy, and the same old story about a dirty cop trying to ruin their honest, dirty business. It's a fun story. Uh, of course, there's a happy ending for the bad guy, and I think you'll enjoy it. So, so to review my choices, Once Upon a Time in the Old West, Superfly, and Harlem Nights. Check them out. I think you'll enjoy them. Okay, so to wrap it up for tonight, I want to say thank you for sharing this video with me. This time is hard on all of us, but being able to do this for you is making this easier for me, and I hope for you as well. So for my next couple of videos, I have some ideas. Number one, this hair is getting pretty long, and I want your input. Should I shave it, or should I let it grow long? And if you say shave it, I'll shave it and show it to you on an upcoming video. Number two, I have an idea where I'm gonna pull out old photos and show them to you. I'm gonna call it Embarrassing Family Photos. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. And finally, I think it's very important that I cover my third topic, which is how not to become an alcoholic while quarantined. And that will be a lesson for us all. So again, thank you, love you guys, keep watching, and keep staying healthy and safe. Good night.